In this video, we learn about Gauss, Gauss's law. Now, what is Gauss's law? It is a law relating the distribution of electric surge to the resulting electric field. This is the electric surge and this is the resulting electric field. Now, this is the Gauss law. So, let's look, let's have a look at the terms individually. So, E is the electric field on a Gaussian surface. Now, what is a Gaussian surface? It is a closed surface in 3D through which the flux of a vector field is calculated. It's an, it's an imaginary surface. Okay? Now, dA, dA is what that makes up the Gaussian surface. Q enclosed is a total surface enclosed within the surface. Um, suppose we have a surface of this type. And we have a surge, positive surge here. Then um, the resulting electric field will be of this type. It will point in all the directions, even above, below, or even in this way. So uh, now let's have a look at the second case. This is the same surface, and we have positive surge here. Then what about the electric field? The electric field line will pass through the surface and uh, through one part of the surface and it will go out through other part. So it doesn't have a net effect, uh, net effect on the flask. So we have included only Q and close here. And epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space. It is, it's a constant and its value is equal to 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulombs per newton uh, meter square. And phi is the flask. So now you see uh, that when uh, that given the charge enclosed inside a surface we can easily calculate the electric field. Now, Gauss law is a very easy way to calculate the electric field. Given we have all the variables in the right place. Now, this is the integral from the Gauss's law. Now, you, you suppose, um, I hope you are aware of the divergence theorem. Using it, this becomes um, you can write it as. This is the uh, all space we calculate. We integrate it over all the space, and this is the divergence divergence of the electric field, and this is the volume element. And if this if this Q enclose, if we write this in the integral form, Q enclose. will become we have to integrate it over all space and uh, this is the suppose uh, rho is the volume density and this is the volume element then this becomes this if we divide it by epsilon naught it comes epsilon naught now we know from the gauss's law this this is equal to this therefore q enclosed by epsilon naught is equal to this and this equals this becomes equal to um, a surface integral of the electric field dot product dA and this in turn is equal to this that is the volume volume integral which you get from applying the divergence theorem now
from this expression from this expression if we cancel out the if we simplify it then we get this then we are left with this that is rho by epsilon naught is equal to the divergence of the electric field now this is the differential form of the gauss's law um, this appears quite elegant but this is the integral form is more helpful uh, so we generally use this form and thank you